Real Life. I'm Molly and I'm here with our super special guest. This is Katie Heath and she's an assistant professor in the Department of Plant Biology and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Hi, I'm Katie. I study plants, microbes, and how they interact. So you may be used to thinking about the dirt you plant your garden in, but did you know that that soil is teeming with life? Plants interact with a, a variety of microorganisms in the soil, some of them are harmful to plants, and some of them are beneficial. And that's what we study in my lab, the beneficial organisms and the way they interact with their plant hosts. One of our main study organisms is called Metacago truncatula. And Metacago is what's called a legume. Mm. And legumes are special because they interact with rhizobia in the soil. Rhizobia are bacteria. They live in specialized organs called root nodules, which are tiny little blobs on legume roots in which the bacteria hang out and fix atmospheric nitrogen into plant fertilizer and feed it to their plants. So earlier we were in the greenhouse looking at some Metacago plants. Shall we take a look at the data? Sounds good. So in the greenhouse, all those plants are growing with different rhizobium strains. Some of them are good partners for their hosts and some are not so good. So here are the data. On the y-axis here, we have leaf number. So you can think about that as how happy is the plant? Is it big? Is it small? And then along the X are a bunch of different rhizobium strains. So here, this rhizobium strain resulted in small plants that are not very happy and healthy. This rhizobium strain, by contrast, results in really big, really happy plants that make a lot of offspring. So this experiment is showing us that uh, certain microbial partners are much more beneficial for their plant hosts than others. That's right. Okay. Here we see how plants that are the same in every other way can have really different lives if they interact with different microbes. These two plants are interacting with different genotypes or strains of rhizobia. The plant on the left here is infected by a really beneficial strain. It receives a lot of nitrogen and grows big, makes a lot of babies or seeds. The plant on the right here is infected by a less beneficial or uncooperative strain, so it doesn't grow as big and it doesn't make as many seeds. So those plants in the greenhouse, each plant was only grown with a single rhizobium strain at a time. But in the real world, in natural soils, plants have a host of rhizobium strains with which to interact. Right. And they can choose good ones, they can make bad choices and choose less beneficial strains. And we are trying to understand the genetic basis of those differences among plants. Which ones make good choices, which ones make bad choices. Well, if you've seen episode two of season one, this might look pretty familiar to you already. So this is a set of DNA sequences from multiple Metacago plants. And each horizontal line here represents the DNA sequence of a single plant. So we can read the sequence across like this. That's right. And you can see here at position 396, there's variation. Some plants have a C, some plants have a T. And we think that this position, whether they have a C or a T, determines which rhizobia they interact with. So while rhizobia strains can vary in how they treat their host plants, plants are not powerless in this relationship. When faced with the choice of bacterial partners in the soil, plants have genes that can determine which bacteria get into their root nodules and which ones don't. Different plant genotypes choose different bacteria. Here on the left, this plant is interacting with the more beneficial strain, making a good choice. So here on the right, this plant is allowing the less beneficial rhizobia to infect the nodules as well. Katie, thank you so much for being on this episode. We had a great time. Thanks, I had a ton of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to Science in Real Life, and if you want to know more about Katie's research, check out the link to her lab website in the description. Now, let's Medica go. This episode was brought to you by the American Society of Plant Biologists.